Did you know that trauma can physically alter people's DNA? A study suggests that the violence in Syria in the 1980s may have altered the genomes of survivors, potentially impacting future generations. I'm Connie Mulligan. I use molecular genetic data to address questions of anthropological interest. Right now, a lot of my lab focuses on using genetic and epigenetic data to better understand the stress response. Dr. Connie J. Mulligan, anthropology and genetics professor at the University of Florida, collaborated with Syrian, Jordanian, and Western researchers and concluded that the grandchildren of women who survived the 1982 Hama massacre may still bear the marks of their grandmother's stress in their genomes. This could be the first human evidence of stress being passed through generations, something previously only seen in animals. Dr. Connie J. Mulligan said, the idea that trauma and violence can have repercussions into future generations should help people be more empathetic, help policymakers pay more attention to the problem of violence, and it could even help explain some of the seemingly unbreakable intergenerational cycles of abuse and poverty and trauma that we see around the world, including the US. The Hama massacre saw government forces loyal to the late Syrian president Hafez al-Assad launch a siege and deadly attack on the city and its residents. The city was besieged for 27 days, with forces led by Rifat al-Assad deploying around 20,000 troops. The regime used heavy artillery, airstrikes and tanks to bombard Hama, reportedly killing tens of thousands of civilians and destroying entire neighbourhoods. The operation also included widespread atrocities such as executions, torture, sexual violence and mass graves. The memory of the massacre was one of the many factors that encouraged Syrians to rise up against Assad's son, Bashar, in 2011, who ruled the country until his late fall in 2024. The study collected samples from Syrian grandmothers and mothers in Jordan who were pregnant during the Hama massacre or during the violence that followed at the start of the Syrian uprising in 2011. A third group of families, consisting of families who moved to Jordan prior to 1980, were used as a comparison group. Researchers found 14 areas in the DNA of people affected by the Hama massacre that showed changes linked to the violence. They also discovered 21 specific genetic markers in people who directly experienced violence in Syria, showing how trauma may leave a biological imprint on their genes. But people exposed to violence while in their mother's wombs exhibited signs of accelerated epigenetic aging, which means they age faster at a biological level. This type of early aging could make them more likely to develop diseases, suggesting that stress during pregnancy has long lasting impacts. It still remains unclear what effects these epigenetic changes have on the lives of people carrying them inside their genomes if they have an effect at all. Dr Connie J Mulligan said, We think our work is relevant to many forms of violence, not just refugees. Domestic violence, sexual violence, gun violence, all the different kinds of violence we have in the US. We should study the effects of violence and take it more seriously.